Greetings and welcome to welcome. Mentor Me Memorable Moments. Hey, Tracy. Hey, it is another <laughs> exciting week here. Yes, indeed. Tonight is our mental health program, but before we get into it, let me say welcome to now 150. 50 nations wow. and all 50 states. We're growing. And growing, yes. And happy <laughs> Valentine's Day as well as happy Chinese New Year. Oh, yes, yes. Now, again, this is our mental health segment. So we do have Dr. Michelle here. And we also have our certified healing coach, Felicia Jamison, with us. Mm -hmm. And she's brought a guest. So mm -hmm. you know what? Yes. The first segment is Felicia Jamison. Okay. Let's just start rocking with that. Rock and roll. called I'm back all right. okay so all right. I think it's such a powerful message to women that when you've gone through something you can come back but tonight okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about why women hurt each other mm -hmm. and um, women hurt each other cut each other not with a knife Mm -hmm. Not with weapons, but with our words. That's right. Yeah. Tongue. With our attitude, yes. that tongue, with social media. Dr. Michelle and I was talking about that. You know, mm -hmm. you get on Facebook and say, people always, and you, who, who are the people you're talking about? Right, who right. Hurt you so bad right. yeah. that you're on there in a disguise talking. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what we want to do tonight is expose that. Why does that happen? So, I'm saying to you that it happens because of insecurity. It happens because of fear. Mm -hmm. It happens because some people are afraid that if I help you, if I promote you, mm. it's going to diminish my shine. That's and right. That's not true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm speaking to the person who has been hurt. But I'm also speaking to the person who has done the hurting. It's time to stop. That's right. right. Yeah. And um, my show guest tonight, I want to go ahead and say it. I'm so excited she's here. It's Moni B. <laughs> with Woo! Moni B. Moni B. In the house. <laughs> and, um, All right, you go, girl. We are sparkle. <laughs> don't let them steal your sparkle, baby. <laughs> Shine, baby. <laughs> don't, let, don't let nobody take nice. your sparkle. Mm -hmm. And... That's right. um, <laughs> Moni and I are supported by a local store in Durham, North Carolina called Harazon. And Mike, could you put up, yes, mm -hmm. Harazon Beauty Bar and Boutique. All right. Next slide. And it is, the next slide shows the owners, Joy and Val. So it's a daughter entrepreneurship business. Wow. And the thing, I just want you to keep that slide right there. These two women are so powerful. And the things that you see there in the stores created by them or created by another woman. Hmm. And in 2013, um, there was a truck that hit the initial store that they had downtown in Durham. And the article in the paper said, the American dream wrecked. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not so. Mm -hmm. Right. Next slide. <laughs> so the American dream was not wrecked. Mm -hmm. They pressed. They continued. Um, they are well known for their shea butter. Moni and I know that stuff is so good. Mm, you can cust yes, you can customize it mm. with vitamin E oil or um, 
other uh, essential oils. You can get Ruah placed in there, which is my fragrance. We so uh, love that. And I think, Moni, you did the Moni B Elixir. Love Elixir. Love it's Elixir. Sold out. Right, sold out. right. Wow. So you can customize what you want to go into your shea butter. So I just love that picture because that's, I think, one of the hallmarks of uh, the things that they have. And they do natural hair care products. Uh, next slide. So the American dream was not wrecked. These two women kept pressing. Uh, they built other women, uh, their mango butter and avocado butter. Again, you can add, you can customize what you want in that. Next slide. And um, make it you. Make it smell the way you want. The essential oils. You need some energy, sleep better, focus, inner peace, whatever you need, they have it there. So we are so proud of Very being nice. connected mm -hmm. to this mm -hmm. store and this mother-daughter team and they believe in not tearing women down but building women up i was actually in the store the other day to uh go over some plans of some new things that i want to add because the title in my book beautiful girl is telling a woman how beautiful she is mm -hmm. so i've got the beautiful girl pouches we're doing some beautiful okay. girl headbands and uh, the daughter portion of the team, Joy, we call our nickname for her as the executive business coach. And she was sitting there turning the bag inside out and coming up with ideas. And so this is the desire that I have for tonight's show is to talk about how do we build each other okay. instead of cutting each other, hurting each other. So their store helps promote the dreams and the desires of women. Um, nice. So when you uh, are not healed, and you don't know who you are, mm -hmm. you fear helping that next person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and mm -hmm. I believe in supporting what's available. So I found about Moni through the store. I actually went to a vision board party that uh, she and Shante Holloway uh, hosted and just began developing our relationship and knowing each other. They do a top of the morning call. I can't always call in, but I've called in a few okay. times because it's early, but I, or, or yes, but <laughs> okay. I will listen to the playback and then mm -hmm. I'll repost the playback mm -hmm. um, information and feel like that's just important to support each other. Mm -hmm. Next slide, Mike. So let me ask you a yeah. question about this mother daughter team. Yes. Why do you, have they shared with you why they got into this? Why they felt there was a need to support other women? They have never really told money. Have they ever told you the reason why they have? I just, I'm just with them. Well, I, I do Sorry. know that the reason why they started the store was because it was hard for them to find products that they needed. Mm -hmm. So they started the store out of a need to um, have products that they could easily find without having to order online and mm -hmm. all those things. Right. But then they brought in other businesses, like Felicia said, to allow other women to live their dreams mm -hmm. and to create a platform mm -hmm. that wasn't expensive. Everyone can't have a storefront. Right. That's can't right. Do that, That's especially right. Initially. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So that was one of the right. reasons why they did that. They didn't have to. But mm -hmm. again, they did it to empower Mm -hmm. other people that's just how they are okay and they are so yeah. embracing of mm -hmm. the simplest idea if they feel like it's something that can help somebody else mm -hmm. and i love that about them next slide mike and so that's Hello. me with the rua <laughs> it's a very you, nice you know, fragrance. Felicia, yes. one yes. of the things i wanted to mention as uh, you were you were speaking i thought about the socialization process that takes place because someone made a comment, actually my doctor made a comment to me last week. He said, you know, we, we, raise, uh, we raise boys, but we train women. Hmm. But the thing about that is, what are we training our young women to think That's and to right. do in today's time? And so mm -hmm. when I hear you talking about, you know, women tearing each other down, whatnot, a lot of that, we're socialized. If you look in the media, that's part of what the, the most popular persona is in the media today is, you know, the B mm -hmm. who cuts up everybody mm -hmm. to get what she wants. The right. reality TV mm -hmm. shows Quote where unquote, they're fighting. Right. Mm -hmm. It's becoming right? the norm. It's, it's mm -hmm. becoming the norm. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, to, to listen to you all talk about, you know, the mother-daughter team, to see you all here. I talked about Tracy last week uh, providing a platform for all of us. I mean, this is we have to re-socialize right. Right. women to understand that it really 
really is about empowering each yes, other. It exactly. Yes, it is. Exactly. And that there can be more than one queen bee. In right. A, in a setting. Right. Exactly. Different skills, different <laughs> capabilities. <laughs> right. You know? and, and that would yeah. be Queen B E E. That's the clarification. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Next slide, Mike. <laughs> And that is Ruah. Ruah mm. means the breath of God, the wind of the spirit. Mm. And I know that when I went through my healing, that that's what healed me. Mm -hmm. Next slide. And um, so that fragrance has the Caribbean flowers in it and that part of me mm -hmm. that I so love. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. So what is that main uh, fragrance? You said that you said that it was the thing that healed you. So what is that main uh, fragrance? Uh, the, the, one of the main uh, scents in there is bamboo. Okay. And bamboo, uh, when you're in the Caribbean, you see that it grows rapid, it grows yeah. quick. Mm -hmm. um, the, the stalk of the bamboo wood is, uh, the tensile strength of it is strong like steel. They right. even make furniture from mm -hmm. it. Right. So I Hard infused it with that, with the frangipani and the flowers, because when women wore that, I just wanted them to know that they were strong. Yes. When we mix it, we mm -hmm. play very anointed healing music and mm -hmm. we pray over each batch and my daughter in Jamaica said mama now we don't care how big the thing get you pray over each one now mm -hmm. you you mm -hmm. so she Alicia she's a mess <laughs> Love okay her. Well, yeah, it's, good. Yeah. it's important to know that you yes know? Mm -hmm. because if I'm aware of fragrance like that it's specifically if it's a natural fragrance that which was born from the earth mm -hmm. aka yes. from your spirit I want to be able right. to understand yes. that spirit that mm -hmm. I'm adopting that's to myself. Yes. And right. so that's when you go eggs. on my website so and you click the tab for the Ruah, I explain that. Ruah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a Hebrew spirit. word. And yes. my godfather yes. is nice. Jewish. So. Okay. Yes. But you know nice. the bamboo plant th does take three to five years before you ever see anything. And then mm. when it comes, but when up, it comes, oh my yeah. goodness, it's, it's, a, it's like yeah. a forest. Right, if okay. you, if you, kill it. right, and, kill and it. how apropos because how many women struggle? Yes, for years before they ever flower. Right, yeah. right. But once right. they do, mm -hmm. you cannot. You can't stop them. You em. can't stop them, and that mm -hmm. fragrance lasts. Forever. William, don't make mm -hmm. me start singing uh, tonight. Uh -oh. I, 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 some on. songs are rising up. We, 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 <laughs> got, we got 27 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get Ruah on that market. <laughs> next slide. Yeah, nice. And um, the next slide, please. And by the way, I love it. Thank I you. Do. Do Everybody that puts yeah. it on <laughs> say that they feel warm and peaceful mm -hmm. and yeah. So within Horizon um, Beauty uh, Store, my book is there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's on the shelf. And I did a post recently where it was one book left, and I said, "Need to go restock." Somebody's reading and mm -hmm. getting healed, and that's I'm good. so happy mm -hmm. about that, yeah. and mm -hmm. that they have embraced me in the store to yeah. have my book there. Mm -hmm. uh, the next slide, please. This was a picture that I just had to have here. Because you could see, a like, the jewelry, the art. The and these are from different women? Yes. Mm -hmm. ah, nice. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very Moni, nice. did you want to say anything about that slide? It's just... It's beautiful. That's their uh, store that they had downtown Durham. And um, you can tell that th there's a lot in the store. Mm -hmm. But do you have a picture of the, of the new yes, store? Yes, I do. So you can see there's a lot. Of, of products and this is the new store and it is mm -hmm. beautiful mm -hmm. it's in um they were very reluctant initially about moving outside of downtown durham it's very mm -hmm. um it, it's a family in downtown mm -hmm. durham and mm -hmm. and uh people were just used to them being there but now that they are at the mall there's a lot more traffic oh, of course, right, right. Yeah. Yes. because they are in a mall so um people now purposefully come to find them as opposed right. to oh, I'm downtown good. Durham. Let me just right. walk in. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, I'm going to the mall to go to that store mm -hmm. where you have people right. like Felicia with products that pour into you. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's awesome. And nice. you know, downtown, you know, I have to say it, it was Dame's chicken and waffles oh, and okay. all that stuff. So, you know, <laughs> when you were waiting in line, you could just walk down there yeah. and get your hair stuff and then go back and still waiting in to get uh, food. Right. Anyway, okay. next slide. <laughs> 
<laughs> that commercial break. <laughs> some good chicken and waffles. Mm. Moni, come on yeah. now. Oh Say amen. <laughs> some good chicken and waffles. Y'all need to fly down oh to goodness. Durham just to go have the Dang chicken and waffles. Chicken waffles. I'm yeah. telling you. Okay. All right. And they are not paying us. Uh, so I was about to say. Out there. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out there. We need to get some commissions here. Right. But the next slide, please. <laughs> that next slide is the, uh, no, the one before that, please. Is the new store? I'm okay. sorry. I saw the chandeliers. Yeah. I love yes. the chandeliers. So I just Very wanted nice. you to see nice the mm -hmm. new store. Mm -hmm. And um, last is this larger? Yes, okay. Okay. large, much, much larger. larger. Mm. Yeah. And I mean, nice. I I, I just yes. need you to stay yes. right there for a minute while we talk about this because when I went in uh, the other week and I just spent you know a couple hours in there, it is such a healing place and to watch women come in to get what they need mm -hmm. to be beautiful to do their hair to for their skin and to see them with their little girls in there mm -hmm. um and um th like i said they're just such a healing family and it's just beautiful when you walk in and so is there a cost for this to shelve your products no really you're no. kidding well, you, they mm. get a percentage of, of your oh, sales absolutely okay. uh, but absolutely. there's no right right, right. 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 That's great. Yes. Ooh, I, I so, felt so, a uh, rush. I I did. did you feel a rush? Oh, they're going to be I'm contacting right. her. Right. And right. Um, so as a since, business owner, that's awesome because mm -hmm. you don't, you know, again, you you can't afford a storefront. Right. So you come into this store with your products already prepared, mm -hmm. like we do, mm -hmm. and there's a, a small percentage. They're not trying to break anyone. Right. Again, right. they're pouring into you, so wow. it's some good I'm stuff. I'm telling you, right. I felt the rush. And um, <laughs> for those that are in the other countries, they do mail order. And I've talked to Miss Val, and I know her passion that when you order, she wants to get that stuff right out. Mm -hmm. She does not drag around before they will mail your items mm -hmm. out to you. Mm -hmm. So if you're not in That's the really Carolinas, nice. you can go on the uh, website. It's Harrison. Uh, beauty.com beauty and you can order what you like and, um, and they ship all over the world they've yes. got customers in Africa nice. yes. mm -hmm. okay. next slide wow. please mm -hmm. so we are getting ready to segue yes we are and you brought Moni B Cosmetics to <laughs> us don't let them steal your shine baby <laughs> I tell you if you have not been on social media you've got to <laughs> connect with Moni B because she's doing some exciting things and uh, just the fact that Felicia brought her in you know we're, yeah. I, very very impressed so Moni B we want to know about you and about what you're doing out there in the community mm -hmm. um, well just a, a brief I don't want to you know start when I was a baby but <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was know that. we don't <laughs> have that much time <laughs> <laughs> Mike, can you put the slide up where she, the next slide is her in the store. I want mm -hmm. them to see her little okay. area that. in the store, Moni B. Very nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so that what picture are you doing? is so her. What's so I was just, that was actually at the um, the launch event for my products being placed in that store. Mm -hmm. So I was just kind of standing behind the counter and a family member took a picture and it was a good picture. Yes. So yeah. I kind of used that on my uh, social media platforms. Mm -hmm. um, so how did you even know that you could put product in there? How did you? Well, um, I'm actually um, friends with Joy, mm -hmm. who is the right. daughter um, part of the mother daughter team, and um, they actually came to me because the mall wanted makeup. Wow! Mm. So um, wow! So it was it was an awesome opportunity. I call um, opportunities like that God opportunities. Yes. Yeah. Nice. And they yes. came nice. to me and they said, "Would you uh, like to do a, this?" That's a tweet that's right there. Sweet. God opportunity. Look God for your God opportunity. And this for, week. That's right. And for me, I was downtown mm. eating and just started going in their store. And then when I saw what they had, I had created Rua. And when Joy smelled it, she said, is that ours? What's that? What? And I said, no. Mm -hmm. And she mm -hmm. was like, mm. And okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Another God opportunity. A God, God opportunity. God opportunity. So here we go. I love Going that. back a little bit farther. What about the Moni B line? How did mm -hmm. that come to be? Well, um, I'm originally from New York City. Yeah, you know, New York. And, My and girl. I knew it was something I liked, but Bronx, Harlem York. in the house. Anyway. And um, <laughs> when I was, spent many a day in Harlem, yeah. but when I was in New York, I worked in corporate America since I was probably mm -hmm. about 15, but I kind of freelanced as a uh, makeup artist mm -hmm. while okay. I was there. And um, 
so when I decided to move, which is after 9-11, just wanted a change of pace right. mm-hmm. to right. North Carolina, I wasn't really thinking about the fact that I was moving to a very remote place that mm-hmm. wasn't at that time very um, You're right. receptive to mm-hmm. me being a freelance makeup artist. So I still kind of did it, but didn't do it like I did in New York. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, later on, um, while I was pregnant with my son, probably about almost 11 years now, I suddenly lost my father. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that kind of pushed me into saying, oh, I've got to do something more. I've got mm-hmm. to do something more. So I started doing makeup a little bit more, still working that nine to five job. Yes. And um, in 2013, I suddenly lost my mom. She mm-hmm. was found in the home and she and that really pushed me to say, OK, life is definitely mm-hmm. short. I'm an only right. child. So it was just my parents right. and, and me and my son. So um, started doing makeup a little bit more. And I'm of the belief, and I'm sure you are, that you have to have more than one stream of income yes, you if do. you're going to be successful. <laughs> Yes. So I decided to start the makeup line because makeup was something that I love to do. And it would allow me to kind of stay within that love and passion that I have while creating another stream mm-hmm. of income. Mm-hmm. Um, so I started with the lipsticks and lip gloss, because even if you don't do eyeshadow and all kinds of stuff like all of us, you know, beautiful yeah, ladies yeah, have yeah, a little yeah. bit more. You'll put a little bit on your on your lips. Right. Right. So even the most mm-hmm. demure Absolutely. woman will wear a little gloss That's or lipstick. Right. Mm-hmm. So I started with uh, 22 colors and now have grown wow. to 42 colors. Wow. Nice. And it's gone very well. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm just really excited about the line. But behind all of, of the, the cosmetics and, and all that mm-hmm. is empowering women to feel good about yes. themselves. We all know when a woman puts on just a little bit of makeup, mm-hmm. there's a different swag. She yeah. Yeah. That's right. Um, yes. Strut in her step. Yeah. So um, that's really what it's all about. And it allows me the opportunity to um, be the pusher that I am. I say, I call myself the pusher because if you tell me you want to do something, I'm going to make you do mm-hmm. it. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes we need that. That's we need right. those people to, to help us. And I do it because someone did it for me. Right. So that's that's what it's all about. So the makeup is a platform for me to make you feel good about yourself, but to also to push mm-hmm. you into whatever it is that you want to want to do, wonderful. whatever mm-hmm. that is. And mm-hmm. her makeup is different now. Her lips, Your lipstick is different. That I saw something where you can wipe your finger across your lips. And there oh. is a matte lip gloss and it goes on as a liquid and then it dries to a matte finish and it stays there. Okay. Mm-hmm. They come packaged like this. And I would like to say tonight I am wearing <laughs> Selfie Queen and a little touch of gold dip. Okay. <laughs> and, so. and most of the, the names nice. of the <laughs> colors associate to um, my life or just mm-hmm. experiences that I had. Um, I have a, a color called Barbara Ann, which is named after my mom. I love that. Oh, okay. And I have a color called Daddy's Girl. So that's about okay. my, my dad. And my son oh, is waiting it. for yeah. me to have a color after him but i'm not sure i told him to come up with the name mm-hmm. um he's like you have a, a a color after grandma and grandpa what about me i'm your child mm-hmm. and i said if you can come up with the name so he mm-hmm. came up with spoiled brat but i don't think wow. that's a good that's a younger yeah. kid that's, yeah. a yeah. that's a teenager i like that i don't know mm-hmm. about You're that oh girl, girl. Like that. I, yeah. y'all will probably be, be the one that's yeah. gonna yeah. take and i love the name i love that her lipsticks mm-hmm. and she knows her brand because I was at the store and she was doing a makeup class and I said Moni I want something that will just make my lips look like I have wet honey on my and people went Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and she said I know what you need and it was this one which is um kiss my, kiss lips. my lips okay Okay. But let's get back Ain't to no more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, I could go with that. I, I don't know. I do. I did announce a. Um, I do have a line called the Princess Collection yes. for girls that yes. are six All to thirteen, that. Okay. and that will launch in April. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to incorporate Spoiled yeah. Bride into. Yeah. I think. Uh, into yeah. That. yeah. I'm feeling that's going to take it's, off. It's right. That personality. Mm-hmm. And well, he has yes. a whole lot of personality. <laughs> <laughs> My godson's mother in Jamaica. She said, "Nothing wrong with the spoiling man." Nothing. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know. We'll we'll think a little bit more about that. Yes. I told them. So, so you said, yeah. oh, go ahead. I know we're, we're going to wrap up. Oh man, Moni B. Yeah, I know we, we got to have her back. We got to have her back. But um, you go ahead and ask your question. My, you know, I'm a silly question. So the matte finish, you said it, it stays there. It so stays there. leaves no evidence that you've ever been there. Uh, no. Okay. It depends oh. on what you mean. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, wait a minute. We need 
a little bit more time. Are you planning on stepping out? <laughs> See. And I do have. Uh, he just doesn't want he just his white lipstick on his collar. Thank, thank oh, you so okay. much. Okay, all right. So That's all, William. Because you know it's hard to get that it stuff is. out. It is. And how would you? Well, know? Are you locating yourself? What's wrong with you? Am I locating myself? <laughs> We don't okay. have enough time. Next <laughs> All right. Minute. Okay. So, Moni, I know there are a lot of women out there that are viewing us across 150 nations in all 50 yeah, states, awesome. you know, and, mm-hmm. and again, this is your debut on Mental Me yes. Memorable Moments. Mm-hmm. So, we want you to be able, whether we want them to be able to connect with you. Mm-hmm. So, can you give them your social media, your website, things like that? Sure. I can be reached at monibcosmetics.com. That's M O N I B cosmetics.com and I'm also on social media Facebook Twitter um, Instagram I'm on Periscope as well um, and I can be reached via email at Moni at Moni B cosmetics.com I travel um, I'll be in Charlotte for CIAA with another um, woman owned business Unique Boutique that carries my line as well and they're in Raleigh and um, so we'll be there but you can contact me via social media I'm, do you I'm Skype there. FaceTime? I do mm-hmm. actually Skype lessons. So if people mm-hmm. are not located in North Carolina, I do makeup lessons as well. Wonderful. So they can Skype uh, a lesson with me. I do um, lessons in the store in Horizon. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you heard it from here. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you so yeah. much yeah. for having me. You know, you me. are welcome really. back thank anytime. You. Thank you. You don't even have to drive up. You can call in if okay, you like. Okay, I will. But I'm glad, mm-hmm. I'm glad I did drive up and mm-hmm. I'm here. We are so. too. Thank you. Yes, yes. And thank you for uh, bringing yes. Moni B. Now, we're going to switch and flip and shift can a I bit. Can I say goodbye? <laughs> you can. <laughs> 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 goodbye. Thank you for joining in. <laughs> and remember, a renewed mind opens the door to your destiny. Yes, it does. Uh, thank duh. you, our healing coach. Thanks. <laughs> so, Dr. Michelle. Hi. We have a topic that we need to talk about, and I mm-hmm. know that mm. these two topics connect because the reason why I'm so angry and bullying mm. and sabotaging my girlfriend because you're depressed. Exactly. Going on inside. Exactly. <laughs> Something's going on inside. So talk Something to us about this. Going. Yeah, depression. So the title of our um, discussion today is um, "Depression: Walking from Darkness into the Light." You know, I wanted to say happy uh, Valentine's Day um, to everybody. You know, this is a day where all everybody, um, couples are getting together Mm -hmm. with their loved ones and significant others. But there is someone that don't have that loved one and that significant other, and they may be experiencing some depression. Mm -hmm. So I don't know who I'm going to be speaking to, but hopefully this information will help you. Yes. Okay. So... Uh, Let's move to a slide, please. So let's talk about depression. Depression is a real illness. Um, It's sadness. It's something that we all, sadness is something that we all experience. It is a normal reaction to difficult times um, in life and usually passes uh, on with some time. Okay. Uh, It can be short time, long time. Depression affects um, an estimated of 17 million Americans every year making it the most common medical problem in the United States. Mm -hmm. And and that's really huge, Mm -hmm. you know, um, and really amazing to me. Um, Depression is a whole person illness. It affects the mind, body, and spirit. Mm -hmm. It is a psychological um, condition, one that affects the nervous system, Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the moods, the thoughts, our behaviors. And, you know, when I think about that, I think about the neurotransmitters, right. you know, how they send messages to the various parts of the body. They transport mm-hmm. messages. And then I think about the, our ser- uh, serotonin, mm-hmm. um, where that's the chemical, you know, that's connected to how we get that information or the moods, mm-hmm. okay? So it's a chemical imbalance. Right. And you some know, call it and the then happy uh, chemical. It's the, and the happy chemical, exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, that's where you 
um, experience your melancholy and your mm-hmm. you euphoric and your utopia you know mm-hmm. your feel goods you know mm-hmm. um those moments you know we <laughs> um those sexual pleasures mm-hmm. you know the natural yeah highs. the natural the highs natural. Oh, and like things that. like that yeah. so depression you know affects all of that mm-hmm. you know <clears throat> chocolate is a really good thing but we'll talk about that when we get to the foods okay <laughs> okay yeah okay so um Depression again it, it is a real illness. It affects the way you eat, the way the way you sleep, um, the way you feel about yourself, and the way you react and think about other people and people around you. Remember how we talked about um, toxic relationships, Felicia? Yes. Okay. And can you see how depression plays a part into this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I, when we're depressed. We're not able to, uh, you know, think about how we think about people or how we think about ourselves. Mm-hmm. And and I want to believe on some level, and this is just my opinion, that we know that um, depression is a spirit, but it's a very toxic experience, mm-hmm. a spirit, you know, a one that doesn't even allow the individual to actually see where they are, mm-hmm. you know, we are filled with all of this. How can you have two people? And we talked about this. How can you have two people in the household and say that one is toxic and the other one is not? No, I honestly believe because It'll that's a spirit. The both yeah, of you all are toxic. Right. You know. And, and Dr. Michelle, would it be fair to also connect the thought when we're saying? Why do women hurt each other? If I'm depressed, mm-hmm. am I connecting that dot that that could make me start hurting people because I just feel depressed. I feel bad about well, myself. Hurt loves hurt. The Bible says misery loves company. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, and the thing so, about that is if you don't if you don't have that self awareness mm-hmm. of what's going on in you, right. then, then it exactly. becomes everybody it's her fault. Yeah. Right. It's, it's her fault. fault. Right. It's her fault. Mm-hmm. It, it is never about what's really going on inside right. of me. And exactly. then we have to be careful that we don't start Dr. Michelle and I were talking about making assumption. I bet she thinks. I bet she feels mm, no. We're start. We're so depressed, and we and we have a pa- right mm-hmm. a paranoia where you start thinking mm-hmm. that somebody feels something that mm-hmm. they may never even right. have mm-hmm. ever thought yep. or felt. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. How often does that go on? I can, I, in my own personal experience, and I don't mind sharing my own personal experience. Sometimes. I don't even know my daughters are mad at me and I don't even know why they're mad, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, mad at me. Okay. and that is because they may be carrying something from the past mm-hmm. and they want to bring it into the future mm-hmm. you know and, the, and and so that's how they deal with it so now here we are having this I don't know why I'm mad but then you're mad at me that mm-hmm. to me that's toxic so and you're that in brings, today Mm-hmm. And they're mad at you about something that happened when they were five sure. or when they were exactly <laughs> like I don't even know. Because, they don't even know. because they see a pattern. They never had a discussion with they you ne- to tell you that this is bothering exactly. me. Exactly. So they expect you to read their minds mm-hmm. or know them. Mm-hmm. And so they're just seeing this pattern that but if they just talk to you about it, you could probably break that pattern or that cycle. And, and what it does, it spews over to other relationships sure. that yes. they right. have. Yes. That's sure. right. Yes. It spews over to and uh, this is where it becomes it can become hereditary. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm. so <clears throat> it also so it also so we know that um, depression functions um, it, it causes pain mm-hmm. yes. in the in, in in your life, and it causes pain in other people's life that you're connected to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so they sit in this pain body. Right. You know that just continue to exude all of this toxicity. Okay. okay. So um, let's talk about the symptoms. Let's talk mm-hmm. about the, the causes. So here are the causes of depressions, um, which are not fully understood. But so tension and stress. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have um, traumatic life events, chemical imbalance in the brain, a lack of exercise, hormonal imbalances, Food allergies, hypoglycemic, uh, uh, glycemia, you know, that's your, your low blood sugar, moving into type 2 diabetes, possibly. Um, nutritional deficiencies and poor diet, thyroid it, uh, disorders, 
consumption of sugar, be careful with sugar. Mm-hmm. Mononucleosis, for mm. those who don't know, and that's that kissing disease, mm-hmm. you know, exchanging, okay. Endometriosis, uh, serious, other serious physical uh, disorders, and of course, hereditary. Mm-hmm. You know, it's very interesting you have that stat there that says up to 50% of the people, half the people mm-hmm. who suffer with depression have parents who have also suffered yeah. with depression. Exactly. That's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I see you behave this way. I see you mm-hmm. react right. to that. Mm-hmm. So then I it's learn. A learned, it's, right. learned yeah. behavior. it's a learned and behavior. That's the piece I think is probably a, a bigger piece uh, about this than we want to admit. It's probably a lot of this is learned behavior. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is. As and opposed to wanting to put everything on a chemical reaction, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Right. Mind you, a lot. If a person is sick in their body, a lot of the time, yes, that can cause depression. Yeah, mm-hmm. certainly. Oh, yeah. Well, absolutely. Yeah. Certainly. Yeah. But at the same time, if, like you said, Felicia, if I see you respond this way when <laughs> something happens, then guess what? I learned I that learned behavior, it. right? Mm-hmm. And so now I learn how to become depressed, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. And Dr. Michelle, even connecting back into business. If I've never had anybody believe in me, mm-hmm. if I've never had anybody support me, you know, then you go through life. Maybe you have that dream or that vision. And Moni, you did a show, um, um, a call in where you talked about write down your vision, write down your dreams. Mm-hmm. But I'm if I'm so depressed, I'm I'm almost afraid to write down my dream or mm-hmm. vision mm-hmm. or believe that anybody is going to support that mm-hmm. dream or that vision. Exactly. You know, particularly if you've had failure after mm-hmm. failure after failure. Why yeah. try again? Right. Right. Mm-hmm. right. But let me ask you, Moni, lipstick is the key to a smile, get a smile <laughs> yeah. out of a woman. How many women have approached you and, and they had this, or you sense that they were depressed and just put a little lip gloss mm-hmm. on and it just brightened up their day? It happens all the time. Again, that was one of the, the motivators of, of doing this all because women change when they have a little bit of color mm-hmm. on their lips. Yeah. I believe mm-hmm. color on your lips can add color to your life. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. um, now the you know, tweetable. Li- <laughs> I know. Yes. Color on your lips can add color, color to, to your, your life. life. I like um, that. And, of course, it won't change everything, but it's a start. Mm-hmm. It's a start. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I know for me, I mean, the difference in from getting up in the morning to going to the bathroom mm-hmm. and then making up my face. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, you know, the difference in that wow. just kind of peps it me does. right on up and, and gets look me at ready. Dr. Michelle tonight with that <laughs> pink <laughs> on. You know, color, how yes. could she feel bad? I like. Pretty in pink. Yes. Oh my I goodness. love pink. Pink yes. makes me, the color of pink makes me happy. Okay. All right. well, yeah. it's, you're so ready tonight. <laughs> so thank it's, you. it's not just the lipstick then, it's what you surround your environment exactly. with. So that when you wake up in the morning, you're looking at those things that radiate that you. radiates mm-hmm. yeah and and that's something that we as women you know um, need to put into exercise you know mm-hmm. that's an exercise yeah so I like this um, the saying that we have it that I have at the bottom whatever factors that triggers it depression begins with a disturbance in that part of the brain that controls the mood mm-hmm, yeah, that's that right. governs mm-hmm. the mood mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah Okay, so let's move on. So do, does anybody want to comment on those no, causes? No, I think you hit this. Yeah, yeah. and you know what? Those um, those causes, you know, <clears throat> I I would submit if you've, you know, if you have a couple of these, you know, um, causes, that's something to really look closely at, mm-hmm. you know, and then, you know, begin to question, you know, whether or not you are depressed. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, so, just when question you look at yourself. Some of this, it, especially like the lack of exercise. Mm-hmm. It becomes like a, one of those Zen puzzles, okay? Because now I look at myself, I don't like the way I look, so I'm depressed, okay? But I don't exercise because... It's like a chain. It, exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. But, <laughs> but I don't exercise. Dominant. Then if I exercise and I still don't like it, so now I'm depressing, so now I'm going to eat. Eat a pint <laughs> of ice cream. <laughs> you and, your, and over, your sugar overconsumption yeah. Yeah. comes one into thing, play. As a certified <laughs> healing coach, uh, and Tracy loves this little jingle I have, click, delete, and reset. Right. When you've been in a pattern of behavior and thought, mm-hmm. you're going to have to delete something and That's replace right. it with yeah. something positive. Yes. You... You have, you know, when I went through the divorce and everything, yes, I was depressed. Yes, I was sad. But I began to find 
like a, a nucleus of things that I would do. I had my go to it activities. I can remember yeah. writing down, like if you feel sad, you do this, you do this, you do this. Some of my things was I love coffee, so I would go to coffee houses. Mm -hmm. You know, I would go out and just, you know, get a nice magazine and mm -hmm. read. You know, music. I love music. I knew the music that I needed to listen to that made me feel a certain way. And it wasn't the stuff saying, baby, I still love you. I would not right. listen to stuff like right. that. Yeah. I would That's feel right. my yeah. mind. Yeah. Got, yeah. William. I, That's what I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not, not going right. to. But can I just say that? I got to say this because something you said is so important. What you said, in essence, was you look for things, not people. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I need to say oh, that because right. that's part oh, of mm -hmm. why the cycle doesn't get broken for so many women and men. Mm -hmm. Because they're looking for that someone it's to someone, replace. Right. As opposed to what you just said. I looked for the things that made me happy. Mm -hmm. right. I looked for the things that right. I enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Because if, it's, if I don't do it, it's not going to happen. And so many people are trying to get somebody else right. to do it for them. That's right. well, and they, d they get disappointed, mm -hmm. and that spiral And just in continues. our singleness, um, and Moni, you can speak mm. to this. You did a post this morning like, don't send me some posts I like, saw that. speak, yes. sister. You said don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was, um, of course, today's Valentine's Day. And for mm -hmm. some reason, there are a lot of single people that are feeling very depressed about yes. the fact that mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's um, a, a holiday that celebrates couples. But it's really a holiday that celebrates love. Yes. And who better sure. to love than you? That's right. Yes. So that was kind of what that post was about, um, just... Again, just seeing a lot of depressing stuff on Facebook. But be happy with who you are, mm -hmm. because if you have someone else, that person can't bring you happiness. You have to come complete. That's right. Yes, That's you're right. not fifty-fifty. You're a hundred. Ding 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 ding. Because when we were coming ding. for the show and I wanted Moni to come, I said, you know, it's Valentine's Day. Are you okay with that? She said yes. And I said, you know, what better thing? for us to do as single women on Valentine's Day, but tell other women to mm -hmm. love yourself. Love yourself. Yeah. But look, yeah. I, we, so, we were talking about this this morning. There are a whole lot of folks who are married. Mm -hmm. There are folks who are in big households who are lonely, mm -hmm. who are depressed. So it's not just about because you're single yeah. that That's you right. can become depressed. Mm -hmm. You can be in a relationship with someone mm -hmm. and, and feel lonely and feel depressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. I think the assumption just, you know, yeah. a lot of times someone posted today, um, Single folks don't feel bad because a lot of married people aren't that happy. And someone that was single posted and said, why do you think we're unhappy? Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. It's That's right. the assumption That's sometimes. Right. Yeah. Good. Like, what makes the, you think? Depression, <laughs> depression is a spirit, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and it's, a, it's an evil spirit, you know. Yes. So here's some of the signs and symptoms of depression. Okay. Um, a persistent sadness, anxious or empty mood. Mm -hmm. A feeling of hopelessness uh, and pessimist. Feelings of guilt, worthlessness, helplessness, loss of interest or pleasure in hobbies and activities, a decreased energy, fatigue, being slowed down, difficulty concentrating, remembering, making decisions, and to think clearly, difficult sleeping, early morning awakening, or oversleeping, appetite and or weight changes, Thoughts of death or suicide, suicide attempts, restlessness, irritability, and persistent physical symptoms. Mm. Yeah. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. It is a lot. Mm -hmm. Plus, like the checklist. You know, yeah. If it is I'm a checklist. feeling this, there, there's a chance that maybe something's wrong with me mm -hmm. and maybe I'm just a little ill. But then there's a chance that something is wrong yeah. within me and I need help. You know, and I, I want to say that as I'm looking at this, um, the signs and symptoms, the checklist that you say, Tracy, mm -hmm. yeah, even our children are depressed. Oh, the, yeah. They you know, are. our children are depressed. Yeah. And I know that's another um, segment. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have in our female females and mm -hmm. our males doing males. That's depression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's I depression. I remember my, my son is and 32, 33 now. Mm -hmm. I remember when he was nine years old, he came to me and he was just holding his head. And I said, well, what's wrong with you? He said, I have a headache. And my thought was, 
a headache. You're only nine years <laughs> right. old. What are you thinking about? Right. We'll give you a headache. But exactly. the kids today, because yeah, sure. they have those triggers that mm-hmm. were up there, and there's so much going on in the household. So mm-hmm. so yeah, much. and they don't have anyone. You know what? Let me just let me just say this because I know you got to get through your slides. It reminds me of in the Bible where the children were coming to Christ and he, mm-hmm. they were sitting on mm-hmm. his lap and mm-hmm. they were talking to him and, and saying things to him. Yeah, the disciples yeah. didn't want these kids, kids around. Mm-hmm. He said, no, suffer the, the little children to come unto me for such is the kingdom of God. Right. I thought about that because there's a correlating scripture that talks about my angels mm-hmm. are forever beholding the face of the Father. Yeah. So their angels are beholding the face of the Father and he's telling them what they're suffering right with, you know right. what they're depressed over right. we're not hearing it you we're not hearing and we're not hearing it. It. look at the mm-hmm. kill the yeah. kids today they're suffering mm-hmm. they are. Mm-hmm. yeah and mm-hmm. as parents you know we, we we keep asking the question why mm-hmm. how come it's just with, a bad kid spoiled yeah. kid you know rotten kid mm-hmm. no no it's parents little, are the problem yes they it's, are it's deeper yes, and they're they depressed Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. This is good. <laughs> depressed is, people yeah. raising depressed children. Yes. yes. Depressed. Oh, yeah. We got a whole mm-hmm. generation of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, Absolutely. So let's look at the emotional contribution to depression. Some people say that depression's, depression is the anger turned inward. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know what? Now I'm thinking I am now being self-defeated. Mm-hmm. I am now, since I'm turning this anger inside out, now I'm really hurting myself. It's a self sabotage. You know, it's yeah, a self. It that's the and word I was looking for. It's a self sabotage. It. Right. Mm-hmm. right. You don't know you're in mm-hmm. it. So it's not always the truth, but anger is repressed. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the repression. Okay. Well, most people may not know what repression is. Um, it's repression occurs when unacceptable desires and emotions are blocked mm-hmm. from a person's awareness. And you said mm-hmm. that, um, William, mm-hmm. um, awareness and left to operate in the unconscious mind. Mm-hmm. Okay. Including their thought process, their memory, um, um, how it affects them and their motivation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know why I think this way I don't, about I, you. I right, don't know I don't, why I do what right. I do, but just but, I do. Mm-hmm, <laughs> I do. And mm-hmm. right, and don't have no remorse maybe mm-hmm. about it. Exactly. You know, because now I'm motivated to act out mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in some way. Mm-hmm. And that acting right. out is sabotaging me, mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. trying to hurt you, yeah. but right. I'm really hurting me. Mm-hmm. Right. You know. So why do women so, hurt each other? Yeah. There we go. There you go. I, I don't know how to love me. I say this I all the time. I don't know how to love in, me. In one of my uh, classes, they talk about uh, treat people where you want to be treated. And, mm-hmm. and, and, I, and I have to stop the class and I go, well, time out for a minute because you got to understand that there are some people who don't know how to treat themselves. Exactly. So that's not the guy I would want right. to treat me the way he <laughs> wants to be treated. Okay. Don't do like the narcissist. Oh, Lord. Hello. Hello. Right. So, mm-hmm. You know, the, the person who cuts themselves. Yeah. You know, right. Who burns themselves. Yeah. The person who drinks till they fall out. Right. Pass out. Right. Okay. Right. That's, and, that's not the and, guy or I even want to To interject, the thing about cutting, uh, one of my good friends, she's a psychologist and uh, we've done a lot of talking. When people people cut themselves mm-hmm. it's because they don't feel they mm-hmm. are so numb so they start cutting yes. themselves to feel some right. type of pain that mm-hmm. self mutilation they'll mm-hmm. start cutting themselves and so mm-hmm. is that the guy you want really to treat Mm-mm. you no. the way he treats no. himself no 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 because <laughs> okay. no. i i bleed and i feel it okay. <laughs> exactly william yeah, right. it's just, so here's this tweet. Bitterness is a major cause of depression. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. wow. Yeah. Um, I love this scripture. It says, each heart knows its own bitterness, and no one else can share its joy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. So if I'm not happy, you're not gonna be happy. No, exactly. Wow. Misery loves company. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that is. That take, is. take note. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm like I'm happy. Right. I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. Clap your hands. Yeah. But if yeah. I'm not happy, keep, keep this I'm gonna make happy. sure you're not happy. Okay. 
I'm so right. sweet and, and loving. She, look, yeah. she represents X number of women out there, fellas. <laughs> Those of you I was watching, just saying okay. it's that's it's, what it said. It's, it's okay. If mama ain't happy, <laughs> ain't nobody exactly. happy. Or, right. or, or if yeah. the wife is not happy, mm-hmm. the rest of the household is that's not exactly. happy. Exactly. That's right. Oh we got God. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can we go to the next slide, please? Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> here's some questions. Hmm. Are you repressing? Anger over the loss of number one, two, three, four, five, a loved one, expectations, self esteem, respect for others, control, health, or disabilities, or personal goals. Mm. Mm-hmm. Are you repressing fear of losing a job, abandonment, dying, growing old, that emptiness? That's a big one. Mm, nope. Being alone, failure, or rejection? Nope. Are you eternalizing over stress? Hello. Okay. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding. ding. <laughs> <Okay>. Work, <laughs> mm-hmm. work difficulties, yeah. financial obligations, relocation, family responsibilities, mm-hmm. marital problems, trouble, child, workload, alcoholic spouse. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, you know. And the beat mm-hmm. goes on. That's, that's, yeah, yeah, and the, the beat, beat goes, goes on. on. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, how... <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the beat down goes on. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah. we don't ever want to get yeah we don't ever yeah. want to get to that place because now now Here we, we talk go. about you some talk physical about repressing and suppressing that's, <laughs> that's what it happens. it is yeah. it is mm-hmm. exactly I'll that's why that. you get out yeah you, get you out. run mm-hmm. yeah you, you, you run. do what you get out and you mm-hmm. stay out yeah you get out and you stay out okay. yeah because it can get too detrimental at this mm-hmm. point okay. so what can we do to help defeat depression okay next slide please well, mm-hmm. the thing that we can do is conquer. Is conquer. Exactly. What does that stand for? Conquer. C O N Q U E R. C, conquer, confront any loss in your life. So allow yourself to grieve. That's mm-hmm. a you got to go through the you got to yes. go through the yeah. grieving process, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know, because you suppress, mm-hmm. right. you know, I uh, digest. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, and then it becomes in not digestion. just yes. well, right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, yeah, emotional it, in, indigestion. Yeah. It, emotional okay. di- indigestion. That's right. Oh, it's offering your heart to God, you know, cleanse yes. and yeah, for cleansing and confession. You got to acknowledge this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to acknowledge that you have depression. And your, the part you play in it. And the part you play in it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Nurturing your thoughts that focus on God and great and God's great love for you. God loves you. He loves all of us. Mm-hmm. Um, Q, quit negative thinking. You know, let's let's do some um, positive self-talk. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, don't stop telling yourself that you're not going to make it. Stop telling yourself mm-hmm. that this is not going to happen. That you can't remember that numbers. You can't. That's right. Right. <laughs> okay. You know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Okay. Okay, that's my cue. You understand God's purpose and allow the loss to happen, the heartache. Mm -hmm. And E, exchange your hurt for anger, your hurt and anger for Thanksgiving. Give thanks when you feel it and when you don't feel like it. And remember R, remember that God is sovereign Mm -hmm. and sovereign over your life. And he promises Mm -hmm. to to give you a future and a hope. Mm -hmm. No, he's not right. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Yes. So Mm-hmm. So let's time. be so let's beware of some of um, the more de- uh, well, let's beware of some of the things that women the times in mm-hmm. which people and women go through p- depression like the winter months mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. the days are shorter right. um, seasonal you know yeah. um, women lose when women lose energy and suffer anxiety attacks and gain weight that's a big one mm-hmm. lose too much sleep. The loss of sex drive, the libido Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. drops. Um, uh, People get depressed around the holidays, you know, and we have that uh, holiday blues. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and suicides are high in this time of year, the Mm -hmm. winter months, you know, because of the holidays. And lack of sunshine. And the lack of sunshine, right. Um, And we talked about the serotonin, um, for example, plays a role in the mood and sleep and appetite and those level. Those that can um, lower lower sonin, serotonin leads to depression. Mm-hmm. Okay, sleeping disorders. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so let's have some chocolate tonight. Dark, <laughs> dark chocolate, milk dark chocolate, dark chocolate, dark chocolate. Yeah, dark chocolate. Red wine. yeah. And, dark and chocolate. That's right. one glass of red wine mm-hmm. for the women, and maybe two for the men. Okay, you know, okay. and just okay. relax and have a great time. That's, that's what the so, <clears throat> but you had a, a last slide, Mike. Uh, 
that suicide is, is so extreme that mm-hmm. if you are feeling, well, I mean, good, you're checking off job, the boxes. Yeah. yeah. If you feel that you may hurt yourself or someone else, there's a number that you can dial for suicide prevention. Mm-hmm. But you can also connect with Dr. Michelle. She has many tools that will uh, give you uh, wellness assessments mm-hmm. to determine where you are and also um, be able to help you with some treatments and, and some uh, ch- lifestyle changes. Yeah. So this was excellent. I love the way both these came together. Yes. And I hope the women out there understand uh, this is what happens when we hurt each other because yeah. there's this, this is form why. of depression. Yeah. But we're closing out our mental health. We're going to be back with phys- uh, financial health. That's me. And I'm bringing ah. a guest with me, too. And so until then, we would need you to be safe. Be safe, be, be smart, smart and be and healthy. healthy. Bye bye. Bye. Of a drummer you don't hear and you can't see So if I look up beat to you, well the problem must be